Hey, what's up ambiguity viewers? It's Friday and I'm Adrian. We're in my closet. So welcome. Um, you might be wondering, where was I? How was I doing? Am I okay? Am I alive? Did I move to Antarctica? No, I didn't. I'm still here. I'm still in San Diego. But the holidays annihilated me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I was just surrounded by my family too much. My nephew was on break. I was being constantly misgendered. Um, and I was always doing something for someone else. Um, any time that I had to myself, I was sleeping or just kind of trying to recover and just live my life, you know. Um, so I apologize for that. But while we're on the topic of talking about stuff like that, I'm going to just quickly, quickly go into the holidays because I feel like it's a really important thing. Um, and I did it myself. Um, the biggest thing I have to say for the holidays, apart from having someone you can go to and talk to, and not even just the holidays, honestly, um, this is for any time you're going to be in a situation where you might be with family or friends who aren't fully supportive or maybe they are but they just they don't really understand it's really really important that you have time to yourself whether it be you go to the bathroom for five minutes and just sort of sit and recollect yourself away from everything it saves your sanity um as much as it can be saved because it's so so taxing physically and emotionally um to go through something like that, to go, um, to, you know, be surrounded by people who may not understand fully or, you know, they have too many questions or, you know, you're just bombarded with all of these emotions. Um, so really, like, my biggest thing and what I've been doing and which is why I was gone is I've been taking time to myself and just trying to maintain my sanity for a little bit. Um, moving on, this week we're talking about blood work which is cool because i actually need to get my blood work done so this reminded me that i do um first things first about blood work it's really really important for your transition it's important to get your levels before and after you start hormones um obviously if you happen to start prior to getting blood work done like myself um it's important to keep it and maintain and make sure you're consistently going when your doctor wants you to um just for example i get my shot um every single week on Tuesday and I need to get my blood work every time he wants me to come in for blood work on the seventh day of my shot just before I do my second next shot so basically on Tuesday before I take my shot um, if I need blood work for that time frame I'll go to the lab get it done yeah so since I have Kaiser everything goes through Kaiser um, my blood work my endo my therapist um, it's all through them so whenever I need to get my blood work done my endo will put in a thing uh, at the lab he puts in requests and I just show up I don't have to pay anything no copays like when I go to see my actual endo um, it's free I wait a while big tip um, this is for really anytime you're going to pick up anything like from the doctors the pharmacy whether you're just like waiting to go into a doctor's appointment anyone's gonna call you I tell them to call me by my last name because if not, sometimes the lab technician or whoever, the receptionist or whoever comes and calls you, I don't know who they are, but that person will call me by my first name. <laughs> Why can't I talk? Um, yeah, they'll call me by my first name and I, I really don't like that. So I always tell them, call you by your last name. So then I just go in. Um, it's really quick, real fast, really easy. Uh, I don't have a thing with needles, so maybe that's just why. Um, they take about three, four little thingies. Um, it's something that you need to get done, though, for your transition. It's just a really vital, important part because you need to be able to monitor your hormones, how they're affecting your body, especially since if you're on testosterone and you actually have too much testosterone, it, your body will start to turn that into estrogen. So you need to be able to be monitoring, like, what is the level at which my body is growing you know the healthiest and it's the stable, most stable dosage for me and it's really important that you monitor that and change and also just to keep like a mental note of like how that feels how you feel throughout any dosage changes and anything um because then when you go talk to your doctor about whether or not your dosage has been working for you any emotional changes physical things you've been feeling he can cross-reference all of your blood work to make sure it's not a hormonal thing like what because sometimes you know it is it's sometimes it's your hormone dose is too low or it's too high and you need to get it changed um and then it'll fix up how you feel a little bit that happened to me i got uh, a more steady dose instead of doing two weeks i got um every week and now i'm i'm, I'm straight chilling um yeah so that's just why it's a huge thing so 
I'll see you guys next week. My life is not as much of a mess as it was, but it's still a little bit, but you know, I'm finally getting time to myself where I can do the things that I want to do, which includes this. And I'll see you guys later. I hope you all had a great holiday, great new year, and...